Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to do a little testing with the Turbo Dork Expansion 5 paints that the company graciously sent for me to take a look at here. The paints are going to be out in mid-October through both their website and through their retail partners. So let's go ahead and get started and get some paint on mechs. If you just want to skip ahead to looking at the final results, you can click over to the two-minute mark. So let's get going. Now that we've gone through and given each mech their paint job, I want to talk about each individual paint, uh, how I think it performed, and I'll show you the kind of two versions of each that I was able to cobble together. Uh, so first of all, I want to start with uh, Turbo Dork, Dork, the blue, metallic blue. Uh, so this one recommended use on a, an undercoat of blue. So what I did is I actually did two versions of a blue. Um, now, looking at them, I'm trying to hold them up for the camera nice and straight for you. So, the one on the left was actually on a blue that had been given a gloss coat over the top. A gloss clear coat over the top. The second one is mu uh, much more of a flat blue. Um, so the differences are subtle. It may be a little difficult to tell just from first glance. Uh, but the one with the gloss is definitely glossier as a result of um, that uh, gloss coat in between. But both kind of have their charm here. kind of depends on the look you're going for. If you're looking for something really shiny, then uh, that gloss coat in between might be a good, good path to take. Um, if you want something a little bit more subdued, um, go with, uh, just leave it a, a, a matte coat. Cool. All right, so that one aside, and I'll talk about our next one here. Well, this one's kind of neat. It's got that cool name, Summoning Sickness. So we'll look here at what Summoning Sickness was able to do with these two catapults. Uh, all right, so the one on the on the left here was the one that got a gloss clear coat, and the one on the right is the one that got a matte green. So this this paint suggests you use a a green undercoat, and which I did. So it's the same green undercoat for each one, just this one glossy and this one matte. Uh, so looking at them, nice and shiny. Definitely this metallic, rock in the metallic green. Um, it's got a hint of gold in it, and you're gonna see a difference when we get to the other green you're gonna see the difference here, and I'll hold up one and the other, and you'll see. Um, it's definitely a glossy green metallic, but it has that kind of hint of gold in it. Really cool. All right, so let's we'll put that aside just for the moment, and then we'll do the other green here. So the other green I looked at was apple seed. So this is another one from the Expansion 5 that uh, Turbo Dork was nice enough to send me for a preview. Uh, painted up some Jenners. So just as before, this one also says you should start with a green undercoat. Uh, so one on the left is uh, a gloss coat over the green, and this one is a matte over the green. 
nice and bright metallic green. I am very impressed with um, the gloss. So you could foresee doing a lot of very flashy mechs with, uh, with these paints. So a little word of warning, it's not a one coat and done situation. Uh, I think I, I think this was three coats with the airbrush. So giving about five to 10 minutes between each coat. Um, and, uh, and that's the result. So definitely a glossier, glossier situation here. So now that we have that, we'll look at the glossy one for each one here. All right, so the one on the left was that summoning sickness. And this is apple seed, and you can hopefully see the difference here. This catapult has a little bit of gold fleck in it that the Jenner doesn't have. It's much more pure green with the Jenner. Hopefully that, hopefully those differences are making their way through there. All right, put those to the side. Bring up our next color. All right, so this one's kind of interesting here. So I did a little bit different here. Um, so we've got Hemogoblin. And it proposes that you either apply over a black, white, or white to black Xenophil coat. Uh, so what I did was I went with a white and a black just to see the difference. Uh, this was over the white. And definitely got one look. And this was over black. So very, very different result as uh, the, the undercoat will, will, will show here. So the Hemogoblins, again, it's a metallic green on the black, but it's a much more rich kind of dark green than Appleseed, which we've talked about before. Um, for the the white base coat, this was gloss. Uh, and this is quite a few coats. I kind of gave up at a certain point because it didn't feel like it was getting any better. Um, I'm sure that if you kept going at it for a while, you would kind of get rid of the last little bits of white here and there. But uh, that that is what it is. Um, if I'm gonna be using this paint, I'm definitely gonna be using it over the black background. You can get some really cool metal dark metallic green with a transition of color strip. And I am hitting this with multiple lights and multiple angles, trying to get trying to get that color shift effect um, that are available with these paints. All right. Next one, Hotline Metallic Pink. For those of you who need your Max to be metallic pink or other models to be metallic pink. Um, so this one suggested you go over a white undercoat so I went ahead and I did that though I had an inclination that I was probably going to want to have um, something a little darker and so I did a pink undercoat uh, magenta from Pro Acryl to see what would happen if I went over a, a pink with a pink and so the final result here was uh, cataphract with um, very pink very shiny metallic almost like a bubble gum effect and then for the one that was primed pink also very glossy both of them got a gloss coat between so a much deeper pink kind of depending on what you're looking for you may want to uh, play with base coats and see what you get with uh, the turbo dark all right last of the six that i looked at was da -da -da, Orange you glad now this one is interesting because that again like so many of the others it suggests that uh, you have a, an undercoat of that color so in this case an undercoat of orange so we're gonna take a look at here um, again two max one that got a gloss coat one that did not but you could guess which one is which sure now, the one on the left got the gloss coat so it is a little bit shinier so kind of depending on what you're looking for but if you're going for a metallic orange this paint may be the paint for you there 
you go. Really impressed with that that metallic orange. Might have to do a Space Marine and metallic orange. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Alice's. Go sit down. All right. So those were the six paints I looked at for this video. I wanted to kind of split the two so it's not a 25 minute video, 30 minute video because I know you get bored. So these are the six I looked at of all six. I was really happy with uh, the greens. Uh, Dork is awesome and orange. Um, not so crazy about Hewan Goblin, um, largely because of uh, the over white thing. Um, we would need to do it uh, over black, as it as it suggests. What I would like to do later on is do a test with the Xenithal and see how that turns out. Because, um, again, it'll be a nice mixture of that green and, and this uh, bubblegum type color. Oh. All right, with that being said, uh, once, once again, want to thank Turbo Dork for sending me the paints to preview. Um, going to keep playing with them. I've got the others from the set that I'm going to do another video probably next week. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So if you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button. It lets me know I'm doing a good job and lets me know what I should be making in the future. These new Turbo Dork Expansion 5 paints will be out in mid-October. Uh, so keep an eye out for them. All right, take care, be awesome, make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow.